first, can you we go over some examples of uh, some ways that the organization or the equipment and the tactics of the Tong and Byzantium are very similar? So those are three different categories. We can take our turn with each one. Or, so. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Certainly the, the um, you know, basic kind of range of kind of weapons and uh, equipment, I mean, th there are really no radical differences in, in land warfare. Um, they, if you, you look at the, the um, armor in both both cases they're making re relying mainly on kind of lamellar types of armor yeah mm -hmm. um say ra rather than kind of plate or chain mail um and uh they're both fielding a mixture of infantry and cavalry uh the cavalry um is of it's a, a range of types but ranging from really step type, you know, very light, you know, cavalry with kind of unarmored horses who are, you know, fighting, you know, only, you know, very lightly armored uh, horsemen who are fighting primarily as archers, you know, using uh, composite bows. And they also have a, a heavier uh, cavalry, you know, where the, um, the rider is wearing more armor than you, know, you would see in the light cavalry and the horses themselves are armored. Yeah, the cataphracts. Yeah, the cataphract type cavalry. And, you know, yeah. Both, so, um, both the Chinese and uh, the Byzantines have you know, both types of cavalry, you know, plus infantry. The infantry uh, relies you know, very heavily on spears, mainly, but they also have um, you know, missile weapons, also bows in the, carried by infantrymen. And um, they also have uh, crossbows in, in both forces. Although the, so, the Chinese make more use of it than the, of those than the Byzantines. 